Article 12, shall the Town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in the collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Police Association, Sergeants, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at current staffing levels over the amount paid in the prior fiscal year. Estimated increase, 2019, for 39 weeks, the estimated increase is $21,275. In 2020, for a full 52 weeks, the estimated increase would be $32,001. In 2021, for 52 weeks, the estimated increase would be $27,528. And in 2022, for just 13 weeks, the estimated increase would be $6,221. And to further raise and appropriate $21,275 for the current fiscal year, such sum representing the additional costs attributable to the increase in salaries and benefits required by the new agreement over those that would be paid at current staffing levels. A majority vote is required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 5-0. Recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee, 8-0. Fiscal impact note from the Finance Department. The estimated 2019 tax impact on $21,275 is six-tenths of one cent per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 12 moved by Mr. Bridal? Is there a second seconded by Ms. Barnes? This is one of the articles that by law, RSA 273A, uh, we cannot amend it. We can certainly discuss it and get information about it. And I see uh, Mr. Sullivan, um, would you like to uh, speak to Article 12? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Jamie Sullivan, the Deputy Town Manager, uh, and I was one of the uh, members of the negotiating committee assigned by the Board of Selectmen that included uh, Selectman Barnes and Town Attorney Mr. Gerald in negotiating these two contracts. Um, if, if it's all right with you, Mr. Moderator, I'll go over some of the changes or the changes to the cost items that are before you. Uh, we sat and negotiated with the HBA, the Hampton Police Association, uh, sergeants and patrolmen, and uh, spent a great deal of time going over uh, back and forth on issues and the cost items in these contracts and the sergeant's contract are, um, it's a three-year agreement for calling for raises of 2.8, 2.8, 2.8 in each of those three years. Uh, in addition, uh, the starting position or starting rate for a sergeant has been increased uh, slightly. Uh, there's been a negotiated uh, uh, change to the uh, prescription plan in the insurance um, and part of doing that is a transition due to a change from our provider that no longer offers a particular plan um, we've agreed to have everybody move to that plan it's a, a less costly plan um, and there is a stipend in there that helps cover costs um, associated with that transition period uh, that will cease it there in this contract and those savings will continue into the future additionally uh, there was a change to the um, uh, the detail uh, function um, or the costs uh, for details. Uh, the detail rate was increased as well as the, the rate uh, for officers who work in an alcohol related detail, bar details or something else. Um, there's usually a, an increase from the hourly rate due to the risk associated with it. Uh, Mr. Moderator, for the sergeant's uh, contract, those are the cost items um, that we have at this time. Be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Chief Sawyer? Mr. Moderator, before I make my comments, would it be appropriate to make a motion right now for two other non-residents to speak to uh, Article 12 and Article 13? Uh, one is Attorney Joseph McKittrick from the Town of Rye, who represents the Hampton Police Association, and Officer Coy DeMarco, uh, who lives in Greenland, who is a member of the Executive Board for the Hampton Police Association. I'm going to take those as motions to allow those two gentlemen to speak to us this uh, morning. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Bridal. All those in favor of hearing from Attorney McKittrick and Mr. DeMarco, raise your voter cards. Thank you. Down cards. Any opposed? All right. Thank you. Those gentlemen have the privilege of speaking to the body today. Go ahead, Chief Sawyer. Thank you. Uh, Rich Sawyer, I live at 41 Vanderpool Drive, and I serve a privilege of serving as the uh, police chief in the town of Hampton. Um, these two articles are, in my belief, unnecessary for us to continue the operations of the Hampton Police Department at that level and that standard that this community has come to expect. We have uh, strive for excellence in everything we do. And with that, to develop the staff and the folks coming in behind us that lead this department, we have to have competitive wages and benefits. 
And if you get down, as the uh, deputy manager uh, told us, we've covered that with this agreement. Um, you know, times are tough, and trying to get people to do this job is becoming more and more difficult. Keep in mind that these contracts also cover our part-time employees that carry a lot of the burden of policing in this community during our busiest times of the year. They are members of the Hampton Police Association. So in order for us to recruit the best people we can, we have to have those competitive wages and benefits. So I would ask for the community support on both Article 12 and 13. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Sawyer. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Yeah. Make it. Good morning. My name is Joe McKittrick. I represent the Hampton Police Association. And I'm urging the voters of Hampton to approve both of these. These contracts uh, that were a, a matter of cooperative effort. Unlike some uh, visions you may have of unions coming in and demanding things, in this particular case, the, uh, the town came in and demanding and made some demands. And we acquiesced to that. This is the third contract in a row that this union has made concessions to meet and help the town in its, in its budget problems. The uh, raises were kept deliberately to the cost of living that Social Security recipients would have. Uh, the only other changes that we made uh, were to attract people in the summertime with our starting uh, salaries, which were below what you have in the surrounding communities. Again, this was a cooperative effort. I think it benefits both the Hampton Police, will help us attract new police officers, and I think it benefits the town by the changes we made uh, in your health insurance. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney McKendrick. Mr. Marco? He's going to speak to the next article. Okay. All right. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 12? Yes, sir. Good morning, Jed Carpentier. Um, I rise in support of the next two articles. Um, I am the president of the Professional Firefighters of Hampton. Um, and all of us unanimously support our uh, brothers in arms and the relationship that we've established with the police officers in this town. Um, as is mentioned by the chief, uh, we have a competitive job market in this state. And the job that these gentlemen do on a daily basis, um, we personally hold a tremendous value to that. And I think it's important for uh, us to stay competitive in town here to attract the best individuals to these challenging positions. Um, so we in the fire firefighters ranks will be unanimously supporting this, uh, this article. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carpentier. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 12? Yes, sir. Good morning, folks. My name is Darren Degan. I live at One Back Hawk Avenue. As a former police officer in Aurora, Colorado, and living through 10 years of no raises. I can fully understand what it takes to, un to live without raises. Every year you're falling behind. This is a, being a police officer is a tough job. It's getting worse and worse and worse for these guys. They deserve our support. They deserve the raises. Having watched no raises come through my old department, watching my coworkers leaving for better for other departments that we're paying. Good officers. If we want good officers, if we want good people, we need to pay them. These guys are doing a fantastic job. I have never seen a department other than my old Aurora Colorado par partners. These guys are doing a phenomenal job. Let's pay them. Sir, thank you. Could I get you just to restate your name, sir, for the, uh, for the, for the town clerk? It's Darren Degon, D-E-G-O-N. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 12? Seeing none, Article 13. Shall the town of Hampton vote to approve the cost items included in the collective bargaining agreement reached between the Hampton Board of Selectmen and the Hampton Police Association patrolmen, which calls for the following increases in salaries and benefits at current staffing levels over the amount paid in the prior fiscal year? 2019, for 39 weeks, the estimated increase over the previous year level is $80,204. In 
In 2020, for the full 52 weeks, the estimated increase over previous year level would be $131,484. In 2021, for 52 weeks, the estimated increase over previous year level would be $129,954. And in 2022, for just 13 weeks, the estimated increase over previous year level would be $30,000. $950. And to further raise and appropriate $80,204 for the current fiscal year, such sum representing the additional costs attributable to the increase in salaries and benefits required by the new agreement over those that would be paid at current staffing levels. Majority vote required. This article is recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0, recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee 8-0. The fiscal impact note from the Finance Department, the estimated 2019 tax impact on $80,204 is 2.4 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 13, moved by Ms. Woolsey, seconded by Ms. Barnes? Is there anyone who wishes to be heard on Article 13? Mr. Sullivan? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. And uh, with regard to the patrolman's contract, the changes are, are identical to what we discussed in the sergeants. There is one other, so again, it's a three-year agreement at 2.8, 2.8, 2.8. There is an adjustment in the wages of part-time officers who are full-time certified and work as part-time. There's an increase in the hourly wage uh, stipend for those folks to encourage those folks to come on board or to stay on board, and uh, we can benefit from their experience. Uh, the insurance change is the same, and the other changes are non-cost items. Uh, the board and I would uh, urge you all to support this and support our officers. Thank you very much, Mr. Monterey. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 13? Mr. DeMarco. Hello, Clay DeMarco, uh, Greenland, New Hampshire, uh, until recently, Hampton, New Hampshire. Uh, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you to the public and to the board for allowing me to talk. Um, also, thank you to both the Budget Committee and the Board of Selectmen for unanimously supporting this contract and understanding that it's a mutually beneficial agreement for both us and the taxpayers as well. We've made health care concessions to help ease the uh, tax burden on the community, and all we've asked for is what we consider to be a very fair and reasonable wage increase, as long as minor adjustments to shift differentials and things like that. I've had the privilege of uh, being a police officer in this town for uh, just under six years, and in doing such, I've met police officers from all over the country, whether at funerals or training, and I continuously get comments about the law enforcement in this town. We work extremely hard to protect this community. If you call us, whether it's for your neighbor's barking dog or a loved one suffering an overdose, we're coming to try to help you. So I just hope that come election day, you can help us and uh, vote yes on those two articles. Thank you all very much for your time. Thank you, Mr. Marco. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 13? Yes, sir. Uh, Mike Edgar, Seven Ants Terrace. I wanted to speak uh, in favor of both Article 12 and 13. I think it's important to have a, a long-term type of uh, agreement. Three years is, is great. Some ways I like to see more, but uh, it gives the stability that we need. Uh, the police force we have, I've seen what they do. They're great. Their training is fantastic. They help, in some ways, uh, our leaders in the, in, uh, in our state and area for the training that they provide. Uh, we really need the stability, especially when we talk about the way we have our uh, uh, boom in the summers, and we, we need uh, well-trained people to come in. We have to be able to attract them, so uh, I hope the, uh, the town will... Uh, Voters will support this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgar. Anyone else? Mr. Page. Yes, Nathan Page, 200 Drakeside Road. Uh, I'm not a member of law enforcement. My interaction is usually with the blue lights in my rearview mirror. But the, uh, that being said, we need good people to do this job. And in order to have good people, we have to pay them well. And our police department does an outstanding job. And I'd like to encourage my fellow residents and taxpayers to uh, vote for the con for both 12 and 13. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Page. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 13? Seeing none, 